painting has been by necessity a second career for local artist Steve Wilson. Now during retirement he can paint full time and he's chosen to give away his work. His portraits are tributes to soldiers who have made the ultimate sacrifice as Suzanne Vanderhoff reports. Steve Wilson has been painting as long as he can remember, but he hasn't always made a career of it. After studying art at Washington University in the 60s, his career took a few detours, first to health care, then luxury car sales. He had to wait until retirement to return to painting, which for too long had been a hobby rather than a profession. I showed in Clayton, and that was very nice and, and not fulfilling. Um, I think you get to a point where you really want to give something back. I'm at that point. <laughs> Steve decided he'd give back by painting portraits of America's fallen heroes, members of the military, firefighters, and police officers who died in the line of duty. He then donates those portraits to their families as a way of honoring those brave men and women and their sacrifices. I was in in 63 and 64. I was trained as a combat cinematographer, and I was out. I never left Fort Monmouth, New Jersey. <laughs> and my brother and I owned a company in Kansas City that dealt with a lot of the paraplegics, quadriplegics, amputees that came back from Vietnam. And I thought this would be an excellent way to give back. He starts by looking at photographs brought to him by family members of the fallen in order to get a true vision of who that person was. Photographs lie. I can show you uh, photographs of me at a party. And if there are 50 photographs, there are five of them where I look like a movie star and you can see I don't. So you have to find the photographs that really look like the person. I did one of uh, Colonel Stephen Scott and I did that one in black and white in uniform. And his favorite monument, according to his daughter, was the Iwo Jima monument. So I painted the flag in full color behind him with the monument. Steve doesn't charge for the portraits and he refuses offers of donations. He says his payment comes in the faces of family members when he presents them with a painting of their fallen son or daughter. Lance Corporal Matthew Pathenos was just 21 years old when he was killed in Iraq. His brother Christopher had left college after 9-11 and joined the Marines. A year later, Matthew told his dad he wanted to follow in his brother's footsteps. He was 17 and he said, uh, I can't do it by myself. He, I said, will you sign for me and if you won't, when I turn 18, I'll sign anyway. So I signed. Uh, when Matthew was 17 for him to join the Marine Corps and he graduated from high school early. Matthew's father Gus says he's proud of his son and knows that he died doing something he'd been doing his whole life, helping others. I miss him. Yeah. Just wish I had a little more time with him. But I know he's okay. Oh God, I, that's that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm speechless. I know where that is. Yeah, that's when he just got out of boot camp. Yeah. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Ah, that is beautiful. Our family will enjoy this. And I know Matthew's looking down and said, "You did him right, Steve." For more information on Steve Wilson's work and to see more of his fallen heroes' portraits, visit his website, studiofever.net.